Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your very own custom starting character for your Roblox game. So what this means is instead of spawning in with your default Roblox character, you will be spawning in with a custom character of your choice. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing we want to do is go under the view tab and open up the explorer. Uh, once we have done that, what we actually need now is to have our custom character. So you can do this in two ways. Um, one, you can either get a free one from the toolbox, which is what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial. Or the second way is you can create your own. Just make sure it has a few properties like a humanoid and that it is a character with all the character parts. So to get a free like NPC or character model from the toolbox, we're just going to head into the home tab and then we're going to click on toolbox. And then for example, in the search bar, you can just search something like NPC. And here you'll have a lot of different NPCs that you can choose from. So for example, if I wanted maybe like my starting character to be a dog, I'll just click on that, press OK, put it in the workspace. And as you can see, we now have our dog inside the workspace. So what you wanna do after that is click on your NPC, which will show up under the Explorer. So as you can see right now, mine's called dog. What you wanna do is just rename that to starter character with a capital S and a capital C. And then what you want to do is drag that under the starter player. And that is all you have to do because Roblox will take care of the rest. So if we go test it out right now, you can see that as soon as I join into the game, I am now the uh, dog character that we put under the starter character. Now, obviously, if I bring it back into the workspace on uh, the dog, it does not have to be a dog. So let's try another one. So maybe like I want um, the, a police officer to be my starting character. So I can use that. Click the first one I see. There we go. We now have a police officer NPC. So it's going to be the same thing. So once you have your NPC or character, click on it, go under the explore to where it's highlighted, rename that to starter character with a capital S and a capital C, and then drag that down under the starter player. And that is all you have to do. So if I go test it out now, you can see I spawn in as uh, the police. So yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.